All right, we have a $500 bankroll, and I'm gonna show you how to risk on one roll, just one roll, and it's the come out roll. So here we go. Welcome to the Holy Roller, where it's all about playing craps and winning free cruises. I'm gonna show you what it's all about, so let's get rolling. All right, here we go. We're gonna take $100, and we're gonna risk $100 on the come out roll, playing on the don't pass. This wins on 2-3, it loses on 7-11. So on the pass line, that wins on 7-11, loses on 2-3-12. Right here, it wins on 2-3, loses on 7-11, and the 12 is like a push, or bar the 12. 12 doesn't count. All right, so here we go. Let's start, and I'm gonna show you how you can risk on just this roll each and every time you play craps, and especially playing craps on a cruise to win a free cruise. We'll talk about that a little bit more later, but let's roll it and see what happens. And it is a six, a six, a four, two, six. So the point is six. Now, $90 pays 105. Let's put $90 on the six. Now you might say, wait a minute, what are you doing? All right, there's 75, 85, 90. All right, so $90 on the six, okay? So if the seven rolls, we're gonna win 100, which would be $10 more than that. If the six rolls, then we will win 105, which is $5. We got past the come out roll, now the puck is on. With this shooter, we're gonna win either $5 or $10. Here we go, let's see what we do. And I'll do it in fast motion just to show you. Uh, I don't know, whatever happens. Whatever happens, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. All right, here we go. <laughs> There's a four. All right, fast motion. Here we go. That didn't take long at all. So we lose uh, this don't pass, and uh, we win a $90 six. Uh, so $90 pays 105. The difference is $5. So we risked $100, and we won five. That may not be seem like a good payout, but remember, we only risk it on one roll. All right, so let's hold this over here. And let's go back and we're gonna put everything back because if we can get a four and four or 10, it's even more money that we'll win. So the six and eight, that's the lowest amount that you'll win um, uh, whenever you do this strategy. And this is like a grind strategy, just so you know. All right, so that was a six, winner six. All right, so we're gonna risk it right here uh, on our come out roll again. Here we go, risking, and it's an eight. All right, so same scenario. Same scenario, so let's put the uh, the $90 out on the eight, and we're gonna win five or $10. Here we go, let's see what happens. All right, so the seven came, and with the seven coming, we lose this here, and see the difference is going to be $10, okay? So let's go ahead and put that there. So, so far we have, we have uh, from our bankroll, so far two shooters, two rollers, and we have $15. But we are risking 100 on that come out roll. So uh, seven comes and it is a new shooter. All right, let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get a, a four or a 10. That would be nice just to show you how the other numbers work as well. All right, here we go. There's a six. All right, so you know how the six works. So I'm gonna just skip that. And we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do like another come out roll, okay? Here we go. <laughs> wow, sixes are rolling. That would have been uh, five dollars if we would have done it. So I could just add five dollars, but I'm not gonna do it. Uh, let's let's uh, let's keep going. Here we go. Let's get another another point, another risk. Here we go. Seven. All right, it's bound to come. So now we lose here. We're just gonna go back up for $100. And so now we're down uh, $85 overall. All right, here we go. There's a three, and that came just like that, which means we get that 100 back. Now we're back up $15. All right, here we go, let's get a point. Oh my goodness, another three? Wow, uh, that sometimes happens, but we're up now. All right, here we go. And it's an eight. All right, let's just play it out. Let's just play it out like we would. Um, so uh, that's a $90 eight, right? 
And you could you could play something something else. So here's ninety dollars. That pays one oh five. And the difference is ten dollars at the seven comes. So you know you're safe to win five dollars either way. If you wanted to take five dollars and put it on the hard eight, then if it comes hard, you will actually win a lot more. All right, let's do that. And so we know we can win five dollars on this shooter no matter what. No matter what happens, we're winning five dollars. Here we go. There's the seven out. Seven out happened pretty quick, and we won five dollars because we lost all this, and the difference is a hundred that we get paid over here. So let's go ahead and put that in our rack. And I stopped keeping track of it separate here, but uh, but now we have this. All right, let's get a five or a nine on a come out. That would be great, all right? Just so you can see the five or nine. So the difference, it's gonna be the same. Same on the six and eight. Five and nine are gonna be the same. Four and 10 are gonna be the same. But I kinda wanted to roll it out just to show you. So here, let's get a five or nine on the come out. That would be great. All right, there's a four. That's that's great. All right, so when it's a four or a ten, you're in the money because watch this. Fifty dollars on the four or the ten if the point's ten. Uh, on a cruise, you have to prepay the vig, but fifty dollars pays a hundred. Okay. Now, let's do three dollars. And let's add another $25, $75, and that's going to be a buy bet. That's going to pay $150, or if the 7 comes, we're going to win $25, minus 3, so $22. So we know we're going to win $22 no matter what, but we can win $50 because we would lose this, but we would win $150 there, so we'd be up $50. So we're going to win... Uh, we're going to win either a quarter or uh, uh, two quarters. Or, or no, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two quarters because we would lose this one. All right, so 25 or $50 minus that big that we had to pay. But uh, let's, let's uh, roll it and see what happens. Dice off the table. I just got excited <laughs> that we finally got a four or ten. Here we go. Same dice. Here we go. All right, the seven came, and so we we have the uh, what is that? That's the twenty-two dollar win because uh, we lose that, and then we win a hundred here. So there we go. Let's put that there. And next shooter. All right, so we're gonna risk that again. Another shooter's coming out. So let's see what we get here. Seven. All right, seven. This is gone. Let's go back out. All right, go back out. Here we go. Roll it. Another seven. Wow. Remember when we got the two threes? Now we got two sevens. All right, here we go. Let's go back out. Another hundred dollars. Here we go. And it's a five. Three, two, five. So the point is five. So now the five and nine. Show you how that works. So 75 pays 105. So we could put 75 here. If the five rolls, we win five dollars. If the seven rolls, we win $25. Simple as that. Here we go. And it's a four. Seven. All right. That happened to be a better scenario, I guess, for us. So there's, uh, we did lose. Uh, so we did lose that. Uh, and then we won a hundred. But remember those two sevens on the come out, we're still down a hundred from, from the original. All right, here we go. Let's try it one more time, and I think you get the gist of how you can play this strategy with uh, just risking on your first roll, pretty much. Uh, so here we go. On the come out, you're, that's the only time you're really risking. All right, so we got the four. That's a great one. Uh, let's, do, let's do the 75 and uh, put the $3 for the VIG, and that becomes a buy bet right there. And then uh, we could even add a little bit more uh, because we're going to win, uh, what are we going to win, uh, 50 or 25. If we wanted to make it 25 or 25, um, well, no, not 25 or 25. Because So let's just do $10 on the hard four, okay? So that'll pay, that'll pay 80. So that'll be good if it comes hard 
And so we're just so that'll be a fifteen dollar win uh, if the seven comes. How about that? All right, but but it'll be if the four. Now we made the four more valuable than the than the seven. So let's hit that four, and when we hit it, let's make it hard four. Come on, let's go. <laughs> All right, there's a six. Oh, the seven came. So the difference is $15 minus the VIG that we had to pay. So I think that's what, $12 that we won there. So you can see that we won uh, at least $12. All right, so I think uh, this one, this one's gone. Um, yeah, all right. So, so I mean, you can see that we're risking. Uh, what are we? What, I know we're down. Um, let's do it one more time and see if we can get some twos and threes or something. All right, here we go. Um, let's pick that three so we can roll it. That would be great. <laughs> the, that's the seven. All right, here, here we go. Uh, let's do it. This is our only risk on this on this uh, on this uh, shooter. Here we go. All right, five. Now it's a five, seventy-five dollars. All right, seventy-five pays one hundred five. We're guaranteed to make five dollars on the shooter, um, or we can make uh, twenty-five if the seven comes. All right, here we go. There's that hard four we wanted last time. All right, so that's a $25 win. We lose 75, we win the 100 right here. So we can see uh, that's pretty much pretty, pretty much just risking on the one roll. Um, and I'll show you right before we finish here, I'll show you the other way that I would play this. So let's do the same thing with 100. And uh, let's, act, let's, let's actually add a 10. We'll do 110 and you'll see You'll see what I mean here. Uh, let's risk 110 this time, and uh, let's roll and see what we get here. All right, there we go, and it's an it's a nine. All right, so a nine. All right, so we got a nine, and remember, we want that nine uh, would be to to win 105 would be 75. But this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take uh, 110. Because we have 110 here, we're going to take 110 and we're going to put 110 out here and we'll grab the 9. So we have 110 out there and 110 right there. If a 7 comes, we break even. But if we get a 5, 6, or 8, which that's what we want to hit first, a 5, 6, or 8 before the 9, let's see what happens when we do that. All right, let's hit it. All right. Oh my goodness, it's a 9. All right. So I'm, we're going to lose this. And so. What happens is that pays 35, so we lost 75 on that right there. All right, so we lost 75. Okay, so so let's let's do it one more time, 110 again, and let's see. We're gonna because that stays out there because it was a winner. So let's see if we can get past the come out again, and we did with a five. It's the other side of the nine. It's the sister number. The reason why I say that is because whenever you see a five, you'll see a nine on the other side. And whenever you see a uh, six, you'll see an eight on the other side. And whenever you see a four, then you'll always see a 10 on the other side. All right, that's why they're called sister numbers, all right? All right, so we got a five. We want to miss the five. Let's hit a six, eight, or nine. All right, here we go. A uh, seven out. All right, that's a push. This loses. Uh, this this all comes down and we win it right here. All right, so You can see that the dice. Uh, it's a 50 50 kind of game I just like to play on this side because the seven is the highest probability You just don't want to hit it on the come out. Let's try it one more time I know I've been saying that over and over on this video, but uh, let's try it one more time <laughs> All right, here we go <laughs> And it's a 10 10 hard 10 and so this one if uh, instead of going on the inside and trying to miss the number with a 10 and a four, when you have one 10 here, um, I would definitely uh, just pay the VIG for a $50 uh, 10. Okay, so that's gonna cost $2 to buy that bet. So 50 
would pay a hundred, so I would be down ten dollars. But look, I have this left here, so that goes away here. But I have the six and eight for thirty each, so I'm playing the six and eight. Uh, if the ten comes, that's that's okay. But I really want the six and eight to hit. Here we go. Let's see. And there's a yo eleven, yo, and a seven. So you could see technically on that one because we paid two dollars for that vig we lost uh two dollars on that roll with a seven out so um guess what i'm gonna say guess what i'm gonna say let's try it one more time one more time all right here we go am i present my luck i don't know let's see here we go <laughs> and it's a five five and so i love the four and ten and i really play this mainly just for the four and ten but we're on the five here now instead of doing the 75 for the 105, we're actually gonna go like this and we're gonna play the 110 inside. We're hoping for a six, eight, or nine. Here we go. Oh my goodness, look at that. It broke even. All right, so I think what I'll do is I will do it one more time, but this is the last time for reals, okay? For reals this time. All right, so we're gonna go one more time and let me just go ahead and put this up to begin with, and then if it's if it's not what I if it's not one of those numbers, then we'll I'll just move it around if needed. All right, so here we go. Let's let's roll. And it's a three. Well, uh, I kind of needed that based on how things were going. <laughs> There's one ten that a two three wins right here. So let's just put that there uh, because you know a seven could come at any moment. All right, here we go. <laughs> And it's a nine. All right, so we're back out on the nine. And so all we're needing is one hit. So the way this strategy works like this is really all you need is one hit. And then you're profitable. So before, all you needed to do was get past the come out roll and you're profitable. This way, you need one hit to be profitable. But you have a lot more chances to hit a lot of different rolls because you're not just playing the point and the don't or the seven and the point, right? So this one, we're hoping for a five, six, or eight, and then watch what we'll do with that. I'll tell you just in case it doesn't happen, we're gonna take our first hit and we're gonna put it on the nine, which would actually cover this. The winnings to that, the winnings that we win on our first hit, plus if the nine hits again, would cover that. So one hit and we're profitable, and then the second, third, you know, we just rack, rack, rack. All right, here we go, let's see what happens. Let's get a five, six, or eight. And it's a five. We did it. Wow. And you know what that is? The other side of the number we don't want right now. But now it doesn't matter because that's going to pay $35. So $35. We could put 50 here. Okay, so 50 pays 70. Uh, and this is 110. So let's go to uh, 50, $60. So we got $60 here. All right. So let's uh, let's see what we can do. Let's hit some more numbers here all right here we go all right there is oh my goodness <laughs> it's the seven so this one that we just won we just lost that difference because 110 and 110 all right so this is the best scenario that i've found when you're playing craps for a very long time uh to actually kind of come close to breaking even or playing for a long time without losing a bunch of money at least that's the way i've experienced it so in looking to looking at this we're probably i think we're down a hundred dollars overall so let's uh we could count it up to see just to make sure so there's a hundred two three four four hundred and twenty five twenty seven so we're a little bit uh was that uh seventy three dollars so seventy three dollars down after playing all those rounds and so uh anyway i just wanted to show you that uh i just i hope it helps and remember the reason why we do this is we want time at the table and average bet so that bet was 110 here and 110 here so it's a 200 dollars average bet on the table you earn points when you play craps on a cruise and then when you earn those points in the casino for playing time at the table and average bet then 
you get a free cruise and that's what this channel is all about so please subscribe if you are interested in learning more and then watch this video as well and i hope to see you cruising and rolling on a crafts table soon see ya